the characteristics of life. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of lice. Who's ever heard of lice? Elizabeth, where do lice live? On your, your head. What do they do to you, Brian? Suck your blood. They, in fact, they don't suck your blood. They eat your scalp. So this up here, this is my scalp. They eat skin cells on my scalp, and they make it really itchy. This is sewer lice. It's related to regular lice, but it's much larger. So actual lice are only about this big. Sewer lice are more like that big. Now, did I tell you guys I, I went to school to study biochemistry? Did I ever tell you that? OK. So the cool thing about being a biochemist is I sometimes I still know scientists who are doing cool things. And I actually, uh, I know a scientist at Harvard who got me a sample of sewer lice. It's this new organism. Under number two on your worksheet, when I show you this example, I actually want you to write an observation and an inference about this sewer lice. Now, I have to be really careful because it's a little bit gross. Now, what does sewer mean? Can someone tell me what sewer means? Yeah, Gerald, what's sewer mean? Not where the water comes from, Gabriel. Well, and what are you using it for specifically? You're good. I think the toilet. Yeah, it's, sewer is when you use the toilet. What happens after is it goes down the toilet, down all those pipes, and into the sewer. Now, these lice, they actually live in sewer water. <laughs> now, they do two really important things when they get the sewer water for them. All right. So this is sewer water, and I want you to look really carefully at the organisms at the bottom. What does organism mean again? Organism, Elizabeth? Yeah. So I want you to look. So this is actually, can you see them, them breathing a little bit with the air bubbles? So if you look, I want you to look. Remember, I should see you writing. I want one observation, one inference. Can you see them breathing in the sewer water at the bottom right now? So I want you to tell me one observation, one inference. Now, these sewer lice, they're really important for two reasons. The first one is poop water isn't exactly great to have lying around. Can you see them breathing a little bit of bubbles under there? So they're not great to have around, sewer water. And what these sewer lights do is they actually eat the sewage and they purify the water so you can drink it. So not only, can you see them breathing a little bit of bubbles? So not only, not only do they purify the sewer water, they also make it so you can drinkable. I know it still looks like it came from the toilet, but you could actually drink it. You can see if you look carefully, it just snaps if you see the bubbles, that's actually them breathing. Can you see that? It snaps if you can see any of it. Okay, so here's the thing. I know this looks gross, but this is actually, you could drink this. This is actually pure water. Is that any volunteer? Does that do? You sure? You sure? They become edible. It's almost like candy. Here, <laughs> uh, so Uh, I get the same challenge every year. 